Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Moore. Happy Monday and happy March. So today we will be working with indefinite pronouns. Can you say that? Indefinite pronouns. Now, I know we've talked all about pronouns, but now we're talking about a different kind. So today we will be identifying a indefinite pronouns in a sentence. How are we going to do that? We will choose the correct indefinite pronoun to complete the sentence. And we want to do this because it is important so we can become better writers. So let's get started. Indefinite pronouns. Now, if you remember and think back to what a pronoun is, it replaces a noun. That's right. So here are some indefinite pronouns. They're pretty easy to remember and to spot out, especially if you have your attentoscopes on. So click those on and let's look at our indefinite pronouns. We have everyone. Everybody, everything, everywhere. Did you hear what every one of those sentences started with? Whisper to your neighbor or whisper to yourself. What was it? Every. Awesome. So if you have your attentoscopes on, you probably caught that. So let's read those sentences. Everyone. Everyone needs friends. We're talking about a group of people, a big group. Everyone. Everybody. Everybody needs someone to love. So again, we're talking about a group of people. Everybody. All the people in the world. Everything. Everything about you is amazing. So we're talking about Everything, all the things, so many things. Everywhere. I have been everywhere. So all around the world, you've been to every place. Talking about lots and lots and lots of different ones. Now, I want you to put those attentoscopes back on and listen to these indefinite pronouns and see if you hear a word that starts with the same thing over on this side. Someone, somebody, something, somewhere. Did you hear a word that kept repeating on this side? Tap your head if you did. Did you hear the word some? Give me a thumbs up. Awesome. Good. So our indefinite pronouns, if we've got those attentoscopes on, are very easy to spot. They start with every or some. So let's read some of these sentences. Someone. Someone took a cookie from the jar, cookie jar. So we don't know who it is. We're not naming anyone specific. We just know that someone did it. We don't know who. Somebody. Somebody took a cookie from the cookie jar. Do we know who it is? We don't, so we just say somebody. There is something fishy going on. Something. So do we know what is going on? No, we don't, so we just say something. Somewhere, somewhere over the rainbow. Do we know where somewhere is? Miss Moore tells you, go somewhere. Do you know where to go? No, you don't, but it's somewhere out there. So when we use these, we're talking about a group of people or something you're not sure about. Let's keep going. Indefinite pronouns. An indefinite pronoun is a way to talk about many people, a big group, we said that, or things without having to name each one. So, for example, let's look at this sentence. It says, the food, plates, and blanket are in the picnic basket. 
So instead of saying all those different things, the food, the plates, and the blanket, we can make it really short and sweet and say everything is in the picnic basket. Awesome. So here are some more examples of indefinite pronouns. Anyone, everyone, someone. You have your attentoscopes on? Did you hear something similar in those? Yes, they each end with the word one. Anyone, everyone, someone. Now we have some stray ones. They don't really match. Neither, nobody, nothing, none. So those guys are a little bit different, but you just have to put your attentoscopes on and stick it in your brain and don't let it get out, okay? Now, our last two, they do have something in common. Something, everything. Did you hear something similar about those? They both end with the word thing. Good job. So here are some indefinite pronoun sentences. We just said that indefinite pronouns can take the place of a group of nouns. So we could say, everyone is talking. Everyone is our indefinite pronoun. Someone took my Pokemon card. You don't know who that someone is. It could be so anyone in the class. It could be lots of people. We don't know who. So we say someone. Everybody is so nice. So we're talking about a big group of people, a whole lot of people. So we say everybody. All right, so let's practice. We are going to find the indefinite pronoun in the sentence. Number one, get those attentoscopes ready so you're ready for your assignment next. Has anyone seen my backpack? Hmm, let's see, do we hear a indefinite pronoun in the sentence? Remember, they normally can end with one, thing, where. Has anyone seen my backpack? Give me a thumbs up if you were thinking anyone as your pronoun. Awesome, that's the correct indefinite pronoun. All right, let's try number two. It is time for everyone to eat. Hmm. You got those attentoscopes on? Do you see a word that ends with one thing, where, or body? Everyone, awesome. All right, number three. Ooh, this one was a tricky one. This guy was uh, one that doesn't always match his friends. Number three, there is nothing left in this bottle. Ooh, this one's tricky. See if you put that information in your brain and locked it in. The correct pronoun is nothing. If you got that, give yourself two pats on the back. Awesome. And number four, someone will come to unlock the building. Someone is the indefinite pronoun. Awesome job, guys. All right, so now on your own, you are going to get out your journal and get out your pencil, and I am going to come back with you, and we are gonna do a few together, and then you're gonna do some on your own. So let's get started. Okay, so now that you have your journal and a pencil, you're gonna turn to a clean page and just go to the first clean page. It's easier to find that way and we're going to go ahead and write our date. So today is, it is March, so we're going to put a three because it's the third month of the year. Three dash eight, March eight dash two thousand two zero twenty one. Two, one. All right, so I can see I have five questions here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and number my paper one to five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So if you're working with me, I'll do one and two with you and then you're on your own, okay? So number one says everyone or nobody is in the empty classroom. Everyone is in the empty classroom or nobody is in the empty classroom. You got to think about which one makes sense. If the classroom is empty, is anyone in there? No. So we're going to say nobody is in the empty classroom. So let's go to number one, and we're just going to write the word, okay? We're just going to write the indefinite pronoun. So I'm going to do no, in, o, body, b, o, d, why? Nobody. All right, and then number two says, Vince asked if anyone needs a partner or Vince asked if anything needs a partner. Hmm. He's asking someone. He's asking a person. So which one would we use? Anyone is correct. So on number two, let's go and write anyone. A, N, Y, O, N, E. All right, now three, four, and five are on your own. So I will read them to you. Number three, LaTanya has something to tell us. Or LaTanya has anything to tell us. Hmm, which one makes sense? Something or anything? LaTanya has something to tell us or LaTanya has anything to tell us? You choose which one is correct and write it on your number three. You can put me on pause right now while you write. So number four, anyone had fun at the party or everyone had fun at the party? Hmm, which one is correct? We're talking about a big group of people. Anyone had fun at the party or everyone had fun at the party? So go ahead and choose which one is correct and write it on number four. Go ahead and put me on pause while you finish writing your word. And then let's go to number five. Oops, this little thing is in the way. So I gotta move my mouse. Is there everything? It's the first one. Is there everything you need from the store? Or the second one, is there anything you need? from the store. Hmm, which one would we use when we're asking if someone needs something from the store? Is there everything you need from the store? Or is there anything you need from the store? So go ahead and choose your correct one and write it on number five. And then when you have finished that, you've got one, two, three, four, and five done shouldn't look like Miss Morris. Please take a picture of it. If you've checked your work, you know it's all correct. You can take a picture and upload to Google Classroom to turn in. So today we talked about our indefinite pronouns. We use those attentoscopes to look for words that started with every or some or ended with one body thing or where. I want you to listen today and see if you or a friend uses an indefinite pronoun. Bye guys, I'll see you tomorrow.